Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. So today we're looking at the autopilot system in SU-33, SU-27, SU-25 and the MiG-29 variants. So lots of people are having trouble with this autopilot, including me. I've never really figured it out, so I've had a good play now and I've got a be much better idea of what to do. So the important thing with the autopilot is that you need to be able to see the autopilot control panel um, very much like the ka-50 helicopter is how it works so in each of these aircraft it's in a different place so we'll quickly look through the different aircraft su-33 it is that panel there su-25 it is that panel there mig-29 it is that panel there and su-27 it is that panel there now they're not identical but they're similar enough in function so that we can continue uh, we can basically cover them all in this one video and it's uh, not we're not going to miss any major functionality so the way it works is we've got these controls here we push them in or we push them out and a light goes on if that a function is selected now because this is these are all flaming cliffs three planes we can't actually click on the button so they have to be controlled by key bindings that's where what seems to confuse people a little bit so um we're going to go to adjust controls uh the key binding should be the same on all of these aircraft through to autopilots let's have a look what we've got we've got autopilot that basically turns the autopilot system on in the default configuration a We've got autopilot, autopilot route following, left, alt, and six. What that does is it basically follows the waypoints that you've got selected. If you haven't got any waypoints selected, I'm not sure what it does. It probably goes and lands somewhere. I haven't tried that yet. Uh, auto, uh, autopilot altitude and roll hold, left, alt, and two. Attitude hold, uh, left, alt, and one. Attitude basically means your pitch. Uh, barometric altitude hold left open four uh barometric and this one h is exactly the same but it's just the h key it doesn't seem to do anything different as there's that so uh radar altitude hold control left open five now take note that radar altitude control and barometric altitude are mutually exclusive you can either have that turned on or that turned on it has to be one or the other basically so take note of that and we've got translate uh trans Ition to level flight control, a left on three, that does exactly as it says, it puts you level basically. Um, temporary override, left shift and A, and autopilot reset. Now that should really be disengage. Disengage would be a better word for what that seems to do. Uh, left, oh, and nine. Now the autopilot will control the plane either through the actual control stick itself, take control of the control stick, and or through the trim so if, if it can get away with just using the trim it will use the trim if it makes, needs to make a bigger movement it will take control of the stick as well you can fight against the autopilot if you like but the warning will uh, sound that you are fighting against the autopilot okay so let's get started first of all let me just trim myself out so i don't crash when i'm trying to explain things so here is our autopilot panel um, now no lights are on at the moment and so that confirms that there are no there is no autopilot engaged first thing we're going to do is press a to engage the autopilot with our default presets there we go and pause it's selected h um so this here is telling us it's got the barometric uh, hold instead in terms of altitude um uh, i think the radar altitude would be that one there and we've got these now i don't speak russian i don't have an english cockpit mod so i don't really know what these are but i know that these little along here appear to be altitude based these along here appear to be lateral uh lateral based and uh, attitude control based so what we've done is turned on default mode so it's default mode is barometric altitude which is that one there and route following which are these two here the combination of that one and that one means route following and so we can prove that to ourselves because what it's going to do with these selected is it's going to chase this guy here uh, this is our guide to our waypoint one um, and it's going to chase that all on its own it's going to make some violent maneuvers so you might not know what it's doing to begin with but just just it will do what it says it will chase this to waypoint one and you can see it does not have an r after the altitude here therefore it's working in barometric instead of radar altitude if you want to know the difference between barometric and radar altitude i've done a full video of that in the general education section and you can see it's going to be wibbly wobbly but it is going to do the job and it will do it properly in terms of altitude and it'll also do it in terms of speed so it will speed up to 450 not uh, 450 clicks per hour so that's that um it's had to do some violent moves so it's used the stick and the trim and it will be wobbly while it does its thing but it does work i've asked a bit much around and it might stall out here let's just see what happens out of interest this is kind of my first time as well 
Yep, no, it's done it. It's done it. So it's, it's had a lot of work to do, and it's basically done it. It's going to speed up now to get on speed. But essentially, that's that. Right, so the next thing we're going to do is we are going to use the reset or disengage. This basically turns all active autopilot mode off. So um, I'm going to unpause. I'm going to press left, alt, and 9. And that's turned everything off. So we now we're safe to know that the autopilot is off. And we know that because all of the autopilot toggles are off okay the next thing i want to do is i'm going to turn it on again with a and it will come up with our default selection of route following and barometric hold and what i want to do is change to radar out to out radar altitude this time so i'm going to press left alt and five and you can see that it's gone from barometric altitude there to radar altitude there and so it'll still be do, doing the same job i believe of route following um to the um uh, to the, the the circle, but it's now going to use a radar altitude instead of a barometric. Uh, that will be uh, used in case of rough terrain, terrain avoidance, low visibility, and whatnot. Okay, so the next thing I'd like to do is to reset the autopilot again with left, alt, and nine. And this time we're going to try introducing just certain toggles. So, unpause. Oh, F9. Whoops, sorry, wrong button. Alt nine. And all I would like on this time is my um, attitude hold. So let me just put my attitude safely up there somewhere so we don't crash. Okay, so I want to hold that attitude there. I'm going to do left, alt, and one. And we can see the attitude um, control has come on. And so that's going to hold this attitude in terms of pitch, I believe. What I've found, uh, every time you want to change to a different uh, mode, it's safest to disengage the autopilot first rather than just toggling while the autopilot is um, is engaged. It seems to c confuse it sometimes and give it some trouble. So the next thing we're going to try and do is, on its own, just altitude and roll hold. So stand by for that. I'm going to unpause. I'm going to disengage the autopilot. I'm going to... I want to save this altitude here. I want to save a roll like that. So we can spin around in a circle, essentially. And that is going to be left, alt, and two. And you can see what that's doing is it's holding now our barometric altitude and our attitude and roll hold um, at this angle. So that's that. Uh, next, we're just going to do a altitude hold. So disconnect, uh, disengage, alt, left, alt, nine. This time I just want to hold altitude. I don't want it to worry about anything else. So just let me just trim everything out again. Um, it's important before you put any of these autopilots not to be too highly trimmed. Make sure you've got a neutral trim on. If it's highly trimmed at that point, then the autopilot will really struggle to overcome that. And uh, you might even end up crashing because of it. So bear that in mind. Uh, right, what was I doing? I've disengaged the autopilot. This time I've got uh, just barometric altitude hold. So left, alt and four. And it's put on, it basically put the same thing on as last time. It's put altitude, sorry, barometric altitude. And it's put attitude, uh, God, it's put, yes, attitude hold on again. Uh, so it's keeping us, I think that means it's keeping us level and at a certain barometric altitude. Uh, now we're going to disengage again. So, so it basically it adds combinations of buttons depending on the uh, what you've selected from the controls list going to cancel again or disengage and then we're going to press we're going to have a radar altitude on its own and you can see it's turned the um, radar altitude on and the attitude hold so you can't just have an altitude hold on its own it has to have well, one of these as well so an attitude hold as well and uh, let's see what it's going to do uh, doesn't appear to be holding for us very well Ooh, it's gone funny it's gone up and it's cancelled itself. So I don't know why it's done that. It did that last time I tried altitude. Uh, so if anyone knows a reason why it's spazzing out on radar altitude, then let me know. There's obviously something I'm missing that I don't, don't know about. Anyway, cancel that. Oh, interesting. It's put itself back in uh, barometric mode. Yep, I don't really know why I did that. I turned on radar altitude and, and it shot me up to 1900 uh, meters and turned on barometric. So there's obviously something I don't understand about that. But uh, never mind, so be it. Next, we're going to look at transition to level flight. So let's unpause, alt nine to cancel everything. Uh, let's put ourselves in a non-level flight. So let's put ourselves up there somewhere, trim it up there nice, lovely. And we're going to do alt and three. And it's just put attitude control on. And it's presumably going to just uh, level us off at any uh, altitude and just um, get us level to see what happens. So it's trimming down Ooh, violently.
And yeah, you can see it's got us level pretty much, so it's done that job. Uh, autopilot off again. So what we've got to look at now is the override, left shift and A. Uh, so I'm going to put on, uh, let me get going again. I'm going to put on just basic barometric hold, Alt and 4. And it's going to level me out at 2,300 meters or whatever it is. Now I'm going to try overriding. So I'm going to keep my finger on left shift and A. So when I do that, you see that that, uh, that toggle there disappears. The altitude toggle disappears. And I, what basically I believe is that it cancels that temporarily while I've got my finger on it like that. And therefore it, I can override the autopilot with extra control of my own. So I'm going to do it now. Override off override off and you can see I can drive it like normal basically drive the plane like normal with up and down with my stick down or up or down or up now uh, if I want to upset it now I can turn out of its limits let me try doing that and I should it should complain at me no it's letting me do anything I want so that's fine that's actually a good example so let me just put it back back down which is happy I'm now going to release override so the light will come back on there we go it's going to take control again now, what I'm going to try and do is do those movements again, but without the override on, and it definitely should complain at me then. So I've got no override on in this case, and I'm going to turn. Warning, autopilot. And you can see it is warning me that it's uh, of exceeding the limits of the autopilot, and it's going to spaz out, basically. And that's probably the main thing that people do wrong, is that they don't realise that they've got autopilot on, because they don't see this panel down here, and then they try and fly about, and it messes the autopilot up. You can see we've completely messed the autopilot up right now. So what I'm going to do um, is try and cancel that with Alt-9. I'm going to have to retrim the bird. So let me just trim that out a bit. Okay, I'm retrimmed. You can see we've got no toggle lights on, so autopilot is cancelled. And now we should be able to start using autopilot again without any problems. So, I don't know, choose a mode. What do you want? Um, Alt-2. Let's just put that one on. What's that? Uh, out, uh, altitude and roll hold. And you can see everything's working again. Uh, so that's the main problem that people have. I just think they don't understand how to use this panel and check when they've got the autopilot modes on or off. It can be confusing. So the best thing is to get out in, in the plane now and just play with those keys, look at the lights, and you can just learn it yourself probably much quicker than I've explained it to you. I still don't fully understand it myself, obviously, at the time, but I've got a basic understanding of how to use it now. Right, so we've gone over the modes. We've gone over the override. Um, I think that's everything that is covered. I hope that helps, and I'll see you later.